there are different types of vegetable tanned leather. And today in this tutorial I want to explain you what type of the hide we should use in each part of the footwear, what thickness of this part we should use, what thickness of details for women's shoes, men's shoes, and I will try to answer all your questions that you have asked in the previous tutorial. Of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel because here I talk a lot about shoemaking and if you are interested in making shoes on your own, make sure to subscribe to this channel and click the bell button to know when I will upload my new tutorial. Learn how to make shoes with my step-by-step -step video courses. So, in making shoes, there are different materials to work with, but I prefer to work with vegetable tan leather. And I already explained you why it is one of the most amazing and brilliant materials in making shoes. Now, where we can use vegetable tan leather in making shoes? Let's start from the insole. You can make insoles from cardboard, but you can make insoles from vegetable tanned leather. And the best part for this inner detail of our shoes is the shoulder, the part of the shoulder, because it's not too stiff and it has good density. And this is what you need in making good insoles. You can cut it out, bend it. We place nails on the front part. Now let's talk about thickness for the insoles. If you want to make men's shoes, you can use thick enough insole with a thickness of 4-5 millimeters like this one. You see, this is how it looks. You see, it's very flexible leather, but in the same time it's dense and it's good for making insoles with good quality. Now, if you want to make women's shoes, you can use a little bit thinner thickness of vegetable tan leather like two four millimeters this for example vegetable tan leather the, the shoulder part with a thickness of 2.5 millimeters and it's good for women's shoes but to create the extra support in the arc area uh, in making insoles you should add steel shank and if you want to know more about steel shanks make sure to check link below this video where i talk about this part of the footwear and also you need to attach another piece of vegetable tan leather that can be a little bit thicker to create good support to the arc zone especially if you will want to make uh, shoes with high heels now if you can find shoulders with this thickness to four millimeters you can use four or five millimeters thickness and make it thinner you can sky it to create thin edge to create woman elegant shoes all this thickness that i told about is regarding the shoes with cemented construction if you want to make shoes with a welted construction you should have thick vegetable tan leather because of this construction that we have in the welted shoes we should sew our upper to the insole so we need to create kind of channel and that's why we need to have thick enough insole so use insoles with a thickness of 5 5.5 millimeters another part of the footwear that we can make from vegetable tan leather is stiffeners this is counters this is we will attach between upper and lining in the back part of our shoes and this is the toe puff that we place in the toe part of our footwear between upper and lining during lasting so these parts also made from shoulders and here you don't need to use thick very thick vegetable tan leather you can use vegetable tan leather with thickness of two millimeters and scarf it well in the edges and leave the original thickness in the middle because we need to have this thickness in this inner part of our footwear because it will keep the shape of our footwear and will protect our foot now let's talk about soles for the soles it's better 
to use the back part of the hide because it's very stiff, dense and thick leather that is good for women's shoes and for men's shoes as well and it will stay for a long time. You see how it looks? This is the back part of the hide and the thickness of this vegetable tan leather is 5.5 millimeters. You see it's stiff enough and it's very hard to cut it, to work with it, but there is a shoemaking trick that will allow you to work very easy. You should place it in water, to soak it in water for a long time and then you can work with it. And after it will dry, it will become uh, stiff and hard again and it will be good for your soles. And then hammer well to attach it better. We finished the sewing. We have here beautiful work. You can see the stitches, they are hidden. If you will want to create elegant woman's shoes, you should work with same type of vegetable tan leather. But what you need to do is to reduce thickness of this leather, especially in the edge of the sole. Like this one, you see? This is ready-made sole that I developed for one of my collections and it was made from the same height, from the back part and it was before with the same thickness of 5 mm. But now it has good thickness with 2 mm on the entire surface. This is how it's done in when we manufacture it in factories. But when you will create the soles by yourself, you can skive only the edge of the sole. And for elegant women's shoes, the edge that you can create is about 2-3 millimeters to create elegant look of your shoes. This is one of my footwear that I made and here I made the sole by myself and I used same part of the vegetable tan, same type of the vegetable tan leather. But I created here very thin edge. I skied the edge to create this elegant look of the footwear and the thickness of this edge is about 2 mm. In the middle I left same thickness to create very strong soles. But you can see it here, you see only thin edge and this is how it must be done in making elegant woman footwear. Working with vegetable tan and other, you have different options. So another option to create women's shoes is to make shoes like this one. This is high heel pump shoes that I teach in my high heel pump course. And here you can use vegetable tan leather with original thickness. So you don't need to work on the thickness, you don't need to skive it, you can attach it as it is because here we use weld. Here is another example of what you can do working with vegetable tan leather. This is moccasin from my program and here you have double sole working with same part of the height, the back part. What is important here is to skive this double sole, to skive entire surface of this double sole to create beautiful shape that will repeat the shape of the shoeless bottom. Okay? And you see it looks very elegant because it it's skived and thickness of this double sole is 3.5 millimeters and the first one, the thickness of this sole is 2.5 millimeters. For men's shoes, like we did here in my English welded Oxford course, we use same part of the height, vegetable tan leather, the back part. And the thickness for the insole is the original one, 5 5.5 millimeters. Like we did here, you see, this is for was made especially for my husband, is worn, but you can understand how it looks when it's done by hand. Another part of footwear where you can use vegetable tan leather is heels. Working with vegetable tan leather, you can create different heels, heels with different shapes. You can create low heels and high heels as well, like we did in the same course high heel pump course. You see, it has this shape that's used for entire design of these pumps. Or you can create low heels like we did here, for example, in men's shoes. The height that you can use for this 
part of our footwear is the same height that we use for the soles, is the back part. Because it's stiff, it's strong, and that's why you can create even high heels working with this part of the height. Here is a good example what you can do in making sandals. This is unisex sandals that I did in my course, unisex sandals course, and a link to this course you can find in the description below the video. So it's good for men and for women as well. We use here shoulders, and you can see it's raw material. You can see it, we didn't cover it. We left it as it is. The thickness of this uh, insole is 2, 2.5 millimeters. And for the sole, I used the back part of the height with the thickness of five millimeters, but we scarred the edge to create elegant look of these sandals. If you want to make sandals for men's shoes, you can leave original thickness of this of the back part and you can use a little bit thicker part thicker part of the shoulders like four or five millimeters so for the men's saddles you will have thick and strong construction finishing working with vegetable tanned leather you don't need to have some special equipment some special tools you can work with simple tools and create beautiful finishing like we did in magazines or sandals, it's simple type of finishing where you will need to remove top surface of the leather and then to finish it working with sandpaper and at the end you will have beautiful and clean surface. Incline it a little bit and using a little bit pressure sand off thin layer of leather. Another good option in sole making to create beautiful finishing of your soles is to use wax, transparent wax, like we did here. You can apply the wax on the entire surface or in some part of it and also working with wax, transparent wax, you can finish heels made from vegetable tan leather. Another great option you have here in finishing shoe soles is working with different colors to color the sole like we did in my English welted course. Here we used red color, but you can use whatever you want. The color for dyeing soles is color that based on alcohol. It penetrates deep inside the entire surface of the leather and will stay for a long, long time. Take brush and place the color with a brush layers of color close each to other near the previous one and not should cover with masking tape the side of in this tutorial I focused on vegetable tan leather but this subject is a huge subject in shoe making in making shoes but I wanted to show you the big picture to understand what you can do working with this brilliant material. That's it for today. Now, I am sure that you have a lot of questions about different food prototypes, different shoemaking techniques, mistakes that beginners do. So ask me your questions and it will help me to know what kind of tutorial you want to see because I have many different ideas, but you can help me. So please comment below and let me know what types of tutorials you want to see here in this channel. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel and click the bell button to know when I will prepare a new video for you. Thank you and see you in the next video. Bye.